Hi, I'm Marcel Krijgsman and this is my new telescope. And uh, this is uh, a Celestron 9 and 20 and a quarter inch. Uh, it's a mirror telescope, the mirror is in the back, there's a secondary mirror in the front and uh, it collects the light. Here there's a prisma, here, a prism. here's my uh, CCD camera. Uh, but one of the coolest things about this telescope, I think, is this mount. It's a mount that can follow up, with this you can follow objects uh, despite the rotation of Earth's axis. Uh, without this, and I have pretty much experience with this uh, with my uh, previous telescopes, objects you're watching are moving out of the uh, field of view. So you're looking at Jupiter and Jupiter uh, moves out of the field of view within uh, 20 seconds or so. Um, and with my camera this is of course a bit of an annoyance. Uh, so this is pretty cool and when I turn it on I have this handset and I can with my handset I can move the mount, uh, move the, mount move the telescope like this and also like this. So, and when I align it, uh, I can, I have to align it on, uh, usually you align it with the, on the polar star and uh, this is something that won't work with my home because uh, on my balcony where you usually watch the, bel the polar star is behind the wall so that doesn't work. Fortunately, you can use other stars to align your telescope and when you've done it right, your handset, computer within sort of knows where you are and you uh, knows how to track the object that you're watching. Also, when he, this thing knows where you are, you can say, I want to watch a planet, for example Jupiter, and I can type this in, in this, this handset and it will go to where I want to watch. So this is all pretty cool and I can also choose deep sky objects like nebulas and far away uh, galaxies so that's all very nice. Also uh, you can uh, connect the computer to it, a real laptop. <clears throat> and you never guess if you don't know anything about astronomy You'll never guess what kind of interface they're having. Maybe you've had a mouse uh, on your XT computer like I had uh, years back in the 80s. It had uh, an RS-232 cable. And this thing has, still has an RS-232 cable. When I saw this for the first time, uh, when I read about this, uh, basically I wanted to say, you know, 1986 called, they want the interface back. So, yeah, strangely enough, my 2014 bought laptop doesn't have an RS-232 interface. Very, very strange. Uh, well, luckily, uh, most, because no, most customers don't have uh, anything to adapt this on, they have a USB interface and I can put it in the computer now unfortunately I can't do this with a screen uh, screenshots or uh, I can do screenshots but unfortunately I can't uh, show you how this looks from my laptop screen as I usually do with a out of screen recorder or cam studio um, but uh, very, uh, very shortly I have the software that can act like a handset and I can from my computer move oh not fast I can move the telescope like this so cool cool but why it sounds a bit like a, a, a solution from the Big Bang Theory a comedy show, a comedy series because this does the same but uh, that's well the cool thing is I can start a planetarium uh, program called Tellarium or probably there are many others that can do this and well it's it's to, it's 
not night yet, so it's still day and the sun is up. But I can say to uh, start a plugin called Telescope Control, or at least I think it's called in English like that. I have a Dutch version. Start the interface with the uh, mount. And now I can try to find anything, but of course I have a little problem. There's nothing to see but the sun, but let's say I want to see Venus. I have seen it somewhere. There we are. Uh, <coughs> though not visible at daytime, um, I can say to the mount with control, uh, uh, control 1, go to Venus. I have to watch, watch this a little bit because this mount can turn even where it can turn, so it will run against this eventually. So this is uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. And I have to say, as a guy who works in worked in IT for 18 years, it's uh, it's still amazing when you have a computer uh, and you add uh, connect it to uh, something with an engine uh, motor in it. And you just can say start running, and it does. It's it's my big bang theory moment, sort of. So that's what I wanted to like to see. And uh, thanks for watching.